I'm Anil Kumar and here is a question from the test paper MHF4U Advanced Functions Trigonometry. The question is, fill in possible exact angles between 0 and 2 pi which would make the shown trigonometric ratios equal. So we have sine pi by 7 equals to cos of something which is equals to minus cos of something else which should be equals to sine of something. So you are supposed to fill in these. So these are co-function identities, right? So these are co-function identities. I'd like you to pause the video and answer this question. <clears throat> now, one way to do it is that think about the coordinate plane and we have sine pi by 7 that means uh, this is 7 pi by 7 uh, which is divided and we have this angle which is sine pi by 7 so there we have pi by 7 now we need to find the co-terminal angles now what how could we do it now this is a co-function identity so to write sine in terms of cos, what should you do? Can you tell me that? Well, uh, we could do by using pi by 2 minus pi by 7. So we basically need to know what this angle is, right? And that in coordinate 1, cos will also return us the positive value. So we can find this answer as that should be pi by 2 minus pi by 7, right? So that gives us 14 and 7 pi minus 2 pi will give us 5 pi by 14. So this angle is 5 pi by 14. So we can write here uh, 5 pi by 14. So that is the answer for the first one. Well, one easy way I should tell you is we could also read pi by 7 as uh, 2 pi by 14. Do you see that? It's kind of same. So that makes things simpler since 2 pi by 14 means that there are 14 uh, slices of this pi out of which 7 are in the first one. So this is the second one. So we are left with 5 pi. Do you see that? 5 pi by 14. So that makes things much much simpler, right? Now that's how you should look at it to get the answer, right? So, so that helps. Now the second one is minus cos. That means now we are looking for a value which is actually pi by 2 plus pi by 7, right? So that will give us 7 pi plus 2 pi by 14, which is 9 pi by 14. So, so this is 9 pi by 14. So that is how you can get co-function identities. So whenever you do pi plus pi by 2 or pi by 2 minus, uh, I mean, angle, then sine changes to cos or cos changes to sine. Now when you want in terms of sine itself, then what are we looking for? We are looking for, because both sines are positive, sine, you know the cost rule, right? So sine is positive in quadrant 2. So we are looking for this angle where this side is 7 pi by 7, right? So, so from here to here, what should it be? It should be 6 pi by 7, right? One less than 7 pi by 7, right? So we could write this as, or you could do like this, pi minus pi by 7 will be 7 pi minus pi by 7 or 6 pi by 7, right? So this is 6 pi by 7 for us. So these are the co-function identities which are related to one another. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.